With that in mind, I have a number of guests here today, uh, one of which has just arrived, and he's sitting to your left, Mr. Secretary, Mr. Case Lawal. Mr. Lawal is a distinguished graduate of Texas Southern University, and uh, he has the, the uh, distinct honor of giving the largest gift to the university in the history of the university, uh, Mr. Case Lawal. I would uh, take some time to go around the table, but I, like, I, like my uh, distinguished colleagues have indicated to me, I cannot uh, take m more time than, than about three minutes. So I'd like to now defer uh, the rest of my uh, speaking uh, time to Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. I'd like for her to come up and also discuss this wonderful partnership between the federal government and Texas Southern University. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you very much for coming to our university. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Secretary, we are in good hands. Mr. President is a numbers man. He counts the numbers. Any federal money coming to Texas Southern University, Chairman Lewis, we know will be accounted for. Uh, and we're delighted to, to have his expertise. I, too, will um, offer you a wonderful greeting. Uh, there is breakfast, and I'm not sure how we want to handle it, uh, whether or not we want to move at a certain point and then quickly go into the program. But let me thank Chairman Lewis uh, very much uh, for his uh, steady hand and the trustee uh, for this university, the wide breadth of diversity of members of the Texas, U Texas Southern University Board of Regents has really added excellence to a school uh, that was already uh, based upon Prince of excellence. I told the Secretary as we came in, uh, many of the outstanding graduates, we always say our own Barbara Jordan and our own Mickey Leland, but the scientists and lawyers uh, and civil rights leaders, Mr. Secretary, and educators are abounding in this great school. I want you to know that this school uh, has the oldest and longest transportation department, established transportation department of historically black colleges. I know that because as we wrote language in the Homeland Security Bill for Transportation Security Grants, we were able to do our research and find this particular school among others. And so I am grateful to have the opportunity for you to be here. Uh, and I would like to just stand to the side for a moment, let Chairman Lewis come up and greet us. Um, and um, I want them to know that every time um, I call them within a time frame and say, get ready. I've got someone here, uh, there's a great opportunity, they respond to the call. Chairman Lewis, would you come forward uh, and offer a word? Thank you so much, Congresswoman. Uh, one of the reasons we always respond when Congresswoman Lee calls is because we know that it's always something that's positive about Texas Southern University and we know how hard she works on it. Thank you, Mr. Secretary for coming to Texas Southern University this morning. I learned that you are a former state legislator, so we have that in common. I, too, am a former state legislator here in Texas, and I know what kind of experience that brings. I've spent a little time in Peoria, Illinois, myself. And uh, so we're so pleased to have you here, and we love showcasing all the great things we have here at Texas Southern University. Thank you. In this room, as President Rudley indicated, thank you, Chairman Lewis, our business persons and uh, advocates of transportation, scientists, wonderful students. And then, of course, as was mentioned, uh, we have uh, our commissioner, Case Wall. We call him that. He wears many hats. Uh, he is engaged uh, with uh, our airport board. Uh, he, is, uh, he has the element of transportation. Uh, he is what we call in Texas an oil and gas man. His training is in engineering. Uh, he is a uh, prominent owner of a major corporation, Mr. Secretary, uh, in this uh, community. But his philanthropic, benevolent, uh, caring attitude toward us is what blesses us. Would you welcome to the podium uh, the gentleman who knows how to fly airplanes, put the fuel inside the jet, and then get on the ship channel and make sure all the boats get where they need to go. Our Port Commissioner, Case of All, my friend.
Mr. Secretary, you know how really blessed we are to have uh, such a strong uh, advocate and supporter of the university, but more importantly, to the community in which we all live. We are all very much indebted to our distinguished congresswoman and our sister. Thank you very much for all that you do for us in Washington. Mr. Secretary, Chairman uh, Glenn Lloyd, uh, President Rodley, and uh, distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, the congresswoman is uh, everything that uh, we all know she is. She's 24-7. And any time she calls us, whether it's midnight or whatever, we know she's still working. We know we have to get up and respond immediately because she's doing it for us every single time. And we are very, very lucky to have her in Washington. And we know she will continue to be in Washington for all of us. And we do appreciate everything that she's doing for us. For but I'll be remiss to uh, tell you how proud I am to be and. Uh, uh, and all students of this great university. And as uh, the Congresswoman said, uh, the university is one of the uh, foremost in the transportation sector and indeed the transportation co uh, curriculum. The Port of Houston is extremely uh, very proud of the partnership that hopefully we'll forge and hopefully we will be able to partner with this university and standing on the federal government and the, and the state government and uh, the various uh, elected officials to support what the university is doing. We are very, very grateful for you to spend some time with us here this morning. And hopefully we'll be able to have some time to share with you uh, all the programs and the uh, opportunities we believe that you can support us and be able to uh, help us get to the next level. Again, we welcome you to Eastern Texas. We hope this is the beginning of a very long-term relationship under your administration. Thank you very much for your leadership. Thank you. Would you just give him a sentence of your pending opportunity? Well, it's, it's something that has been working for a long time. We are not there yet. We are still working on it. But we are very confident that hopefully uh, in not too distant future we'll be able to uh, tell you a little bit more about what we are doing and uh, we shall actually contact you and let you know when this uh, becomes, uh, uh, when, when it comes to fruition. Thank you very much. It's transportation oriented and Argentina James has given him the word. So that's, <laughs> but we look forward, Mr. Secretary, for building the transportation opportunities to even larger. Uh, and I want to acknowledge Argentina James, who's here from the port, to stand up, Port of Houston.